Okay, so here's one uh, that has some x's in the uh, the denominator this time, and uh, let's go ahead and set this thing up. And again, when I say set this thing up, I like to go ahead and um, rewrite anything that doesn't have. And you may choose not to do this. Um, I think this just kind of helps with the instruction part of the video here. Um, to go ahead and say, hey, um, you know, I can do that without putting that one under there. Uh, and that's perfectly fine. So basically, this is a uh, more of a fraction buster, but you notice that we have some expressions um, down there as well, uh, x plus 2. And we got to think to ourselves, what does x plus 2 divide into evenly as well as a 1? Well, the 1 we don't need to worry so much about. So it looks like our lowest common denominator is going to go ahead and be x plus 2. So we're going to do the same thing, um, except uh, apply the algebra to it later. So here we go. So what, uh, let's see, and so again, um, x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 equals 1. 1 times this guy is going to give me 5x plus 5. x plus 2 divided by 1 is just going to give me x plus 2 x plus 2 times this, okay, and I got x plus 2 right there. So we'll do that in a minute. Um, x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 is 1, so that's going to equal x squared. So now we got x's kind of everywhere, and my guess is that since this looks like uh, a quadratic, we're going to have to uh, throw everything on one side and then, um, you know, tackle it from there. So let's do that. So... At this point, we're just doing some breaking stuff down so we can apply the algebra that we already know uh, to it. I'm going to throw the x squared on the left-hand side there, so move that on over. And it looks like I got uh, plus 11x uh, plus 5 equals 0. So here's a quadratic that we need to go ahead and factor. Um, so let me factor this real quick. Okay, so over to the right, um, I just factored everything out. It's not a factoring video, so I just kind of, you know, uh, showed all the work over here if you need to go ahead and review that out. Uh, but anyway, any rate, um, now that we got it factored out, uh, we're set to go ahead and solve. So I'm just going to bring this down here. I get x plus 5 equals... 0 and 2x plus 1 equals 0. You might hear my dog in the background barking. I'm going to go check on that before I finish. Okay, sorry about that. Chester apparently was taking exception to my neighbor here. Okay, anyhow. Um, subtracting 5 and doing this problem out over here. Uh, we're going to get x equals a negative 5 and x equals negative one half. Now here's the deal is that we always have to check our solutions at the very very end and we can do this in a very what's called an armchair mathematics way that you just want to quickly uh, check and make sure that these solutions that we got right here are not going to make any of the denominators the x plus twos go to zero because division by zero as we know is bad. It looks like none of those are going to make uh, the denominators go to zero, so both um, solutions are going to be accepted. I don't have to go ahead and get rid of uh, any of them or rule any of those out, and so it looks like those are, that's our two solutions. So let's look at one that has a little bit more meat on its bones, and uh, that'll be it for the review.